Hi everybody, this is Sufi Readings and hi Capricorn. So let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended for you Capricorn. And also in this reading, I'm going to have a look at your general messages first and then I'm going to have a look at your tarot messages. All right, so let's have a look at what's going to show up for you, what's in your highest good. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? And do hit the like button when you guys join. So at the split of the deck, you have stability. This card says your financial future promises to be stable and prosperous. Take control of your finances to create stability in your life. Excellent time to take action on any money related venture. So this is a great time for you to manifest money. Um, this is a great time for you to, mm, I don't know, initiate something, start something. Let's see. Reconsider a decision. If you're thinking about making a big decision, if you're thinking about taking a leap of faith forward towards something, then Spirit is definitely telling you to reconsider it. Spirit is definitely telling you to not jump into something heads first okay then we have unrealistic all right okay so right off the bat i feel like capricorn there's something um, there is something that's not how you expect it to be so there's also a need for you to see things for for what they are your expectations in the future are unrealistic and need revision perhaps your vision is big and may require a plan and need more careful thought you could be setting yourself up for failure if you don't set realistic financial goals so it does look like um capricorn this is an important time for you to make a decision about something and to also move forward and um, It's like moving forward, but being careful with where you're putting your energy. Okay. Um, we have arguments. Oh my goodness, this card. This card is showing up for so many signs altogether. I don't know what's up with the energy where people are arguing or there could be some sort of an argument but i feel like you're also being told here to not get into it someone may also try to piss you off in your workplace don't get into it okay yeah there is just someone here who is not a good person someone could also like it's it's almost like someone is trying to sell you an idea that mm, is more beneficial to them than to you so be mindful of someone like that in your life um it's almost like I, I don't know if this is really career related or this is someone else in your life but there is definitely someone here who's trying to um convince you to do something that you do not want to do but they make it sound like it's so like mm, i'm getting that saying what is that all that glitters is not gold literally i'm getting that all that glitters is in gold i just feel like capricorn there is someone who you shouldn't trust there is someone who you shouldn't trust okay there is just someone here who's not worth your time not worth your energy and you're okay if you're in your workplace it does look like a lot of you're being told here to work independently if you're not self-employed it may be a time to have an entrepreneur mindset consider investing and committing yourself to your own business your financial freedom will come from being able to stand alone you can do it and then we have this card of change which says there is a change for the better just because you don't see any movement, it doesn't mean nothing is happening. Sometimes to see the change, you must be the change. So I don't know. Like, I just feel that there's a lot of you are going through a pivotal point in your life where you're considering changes in your career, in your home. I don't know, like even in your relationships. 
but whatever it is that you're making a decision about capricorn make sure that you're the one making that dis that decision there's no one else um trying to influence you to make that decision if that makes sense okay i mean it's okay to listen to people but sometimes you know they're not really coming from a place of experience or even if they're coming from a place of experience it is their experience and their experience does not mean that you know the same thing is going to happen to you so that's that okay let's see what's up for capricorn <clears throat> the two of cups is your first card that's coming out with the lovers with the five of swords okay so right off the bat i'm seeing lots of mind games being played in a love situation someone here is playing mind games someone here is it's like okay we love each other but can you keep up with the with the mind games that i come up with so and i just feel like capricorn you don't have time for this you don't have time to sit there and play into it especially when it comes to this person's energy um i don't know let's see what's that about oh i feel like the relationship has come to a point where it's becoming more of a burden than it's doing any good and you're seeing it you're recognizing it that okay this isn't really something that's working for me this isn't really something that is paying off for me okay For some of you, maybe there was involvement of a third party or maybe there's something that came into light, you know, about you and this person. But it, it's almost like whatever this connection is about, it, it's becoming more of a burden than it's doing any good right now. And you're recognizing it now, even though with the two of cups and the lovers, I see like, oh, damn, do I see love here? Yes, I do. But I also see a lo lots of other things going on in this connection. Okay. Ace of Wands yeah i mean don't get me wrong there's lots of passion between you and this person i also feel like capricorn you're gonna be feeling very motivated um to achieve things you're gonna be feeling very motivated to um i don't know like go after things that you're passionate about king and the queen of pentacles is together are you serious so this is a power couple now one thing about this reading for sure is that capricorn you're dealing with someone who's your soulmate you're dealing with someone who's your divine counterpart with the king and the queen of pentacles coming together this is someone who's in love with you this is someone who wants to build with you now if you don't have a person like this in your life i am telling you that you're manifesting a soulmate within the next one year okay um getting these types of cards like i don't see these cards often together in a reading and whenever they do come where there's a divine feminine and masculine from the same suit it means that this is a you know a strong connection something that's meant to be and king and the queen of pentacles is two people wanting to work things out okay four of cups yeah you know i feel like capricorn you're coming to a point where there's emotional exhaustion you may also be feeling like you're just not interested or you're getting to a point where maybe you're bored of something but this is all temporary i feel like whoever you're connecting with they're gonna show up and best believe i really think that this person is going to try to make things better with you but right now you're at a point where you're emotionally not feeling very good magician the ten of swords some of you are just tired of your to-do list you feel like you have a lot to do you're you're tired of being the doer 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 of something and with the ten of swords energy a lot of you are in mental exhaustion and pressure because of something like Ten of Swords here is giving me a vibe of wanting to give up on something because you've taken too much stress about it um there's also this energy of you just being tired of showing up as someone who's strong all the time um let's see what's your future energy like 
If you would like to know more about the person you're connecting with Capricorn, have a look at the extended link in the description box below. Okay. Let's see what's up, Capricorn. What's your future energy like? Let's see. Four of Wands. The Four of Swords. Okay. And the Nine of Swords. Okay, so there's some sort of celebration here. Some of you could be going to an event, a party, meeting family. I do think here that there's a need for you to do something, but there's also a need for you to take a break. Um because even though there's something to celebrate there's something to enjoy you're showing up as someone who's still tired some of you also need to keep your energy levels on check maybe you need to drink more water i don't know take your supplements um or some of you are just in need of a vacation or something and just time off from stuff that has been stressing you out but it does look like capricorn there's something good on the horizon for you some sort of celebration but i'm gonna tell you to take care of your mental health in the next couple of weeks um let's see what's your challenge page pentacles advice six of wands some of you are stressing over trying to make something work if, if it's job related it's like okay i don't know what should i do that really promises the results that i'm seeking and that's a very capricorn like attitude trust me i also have a significant capricorn placement it's like you're stressing out about making something work you're stressing out about making something a victory you know having it be successful Okay, new doors are opening for you. Some of you are also at crossroads when it comes to picking and choosing between a career, a job, or starting something, and you really want to make it work. Whatever it is that your focus is on, you really want to make it work. Some of you could also be in real estate or you're thinking there's there could be some legal settlement going on in your life about real estate. <sighs> What's this about? yeah it is. so this is something that's on your mind this is something that you mm, think of day and night making something work i don't know if this relationship is going to work i don't know if this job is working for me so that's that's where you're at but i feel like a part of your advice here is to take baby steps forward towards something yes so i really feel like capricorn a big message for you in this reading is to not expect yourself to achieve things by yesterday okay take things slow where needed also take care of your mental health because some of you are just too stressed okay and like i said you know your reading did have this change card which is about you know these are not just changes in your career these are the changes that you're going through in your life this could be in romantic connections or otherwise as well and this is a time for you to reconsider decisions two of wands is also a card of decisions by the way but whatever it is that you pick and choose i do feel like this is something that has the potential to work for you okay so that's about it capricorn those were the messages that showed up for you hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already have a look at the extended link below to know more about your person's feelings intentions for you where's their relationship going as well as your blessings and challenges and i will see you guys next time bye